Welcome back and welcome new viewers. I'm in my sewing studio and today for Tuesday Time Bank I'm going to pick this magazine that I have here. It is underneath um, a glass protection table type and I have kept it in a Ziploc seal. Okay, let's see here. Oh, let's look at the back. So I bought this years ago. I'm going on probably 10 years and we are looking at the back and I'll spend some time in the front and look how beautiful the artwork is. Oops, we're having way too much light here. And I'm going to take this out so I'll be right back. Okay, much better. I was having a glare from the plastic uh, Ziploc and right over here we have this wonderful top left corner of this artwork over here and I am going to look to see what year this is and come right back so let's take a look right here this is McCall new style October 1928 how fabulous is this and I got it for the inspiration, the time date, and the fashion. And I just love this design and this era. And in my last video, I was talking about from the 1930s and 40s, how difficult the patterns appear. And this is one of them right here. Let me see if I can change the lighting here. So as I was saying, this era was very difficult. Look at those tight uh, round and U type turn and loop. It's like a, not a zigzag, but up and down, which probably was uh, difficult. And just imagine trying to get those straight from, uh, from here to here. So this is lovely. This is like a one side swag in the front, buttons on the side with cute little pleats and very cute little uh, cuffs on the sleeve. So let's see what else is here. I have not seen it and here are the numbers. 5441 for this one and for the little girl is 5449 and 5445 for this one. And look at the side. Look how pretty this is with the pleat on the side. It does look longer, so it kind of sways down. And it looks like it has la the kind of um, gathering, not gathering, but different levels of getting the material. And right over here, you can see how it goes in a scallop design and another scallop type feather like look on the side how difficult and look at the cuffs look at the difficulty in this design that is really really nice and you get to see the chain um, hip decor here just fabulous and remember last week where we saw the let me get this here this is uh, a little uh, tea holder as you know we like tea over here on the side you get to see the pleats and the double collar such difficulty in the designs of that time so let's see here oh my goodness look how fabulous this is I'm gonna have to take another um, another video clip for the rest we have several pages and I don't want to go through them too quickly so that we can enjoy each and every uh, page but over here look at the swag in the back and and this is the 1920s as a reminder and look at the beautiful side type of uh, what can we call this like a sash on the side and we have a 1970s reference here. Remember in the 1970s when we had different length skirts? Isn't this amazing? We have the short 
type skirt on the front. Well, actually not short because it's under the knee. And then it swags to the side with an off scale uh, hem. And that's what I remember from the 1970s. And we have some very pretty decor here on the right. And look at the jewelry these ladies are wearing. And the same on this one. And looks like it's shiny. So it looks like it has probably a marcasite pin right there. They, they did wear a lot of pins in that era. I do happen to have one. And right here we have the low bust and we have she's probably wearing like a camisole and on this one we have a sheer looking dress so beautiful look how sheer that looks within the artwork and as a reminder in that era they used a lot of silk chiffon a lot of crepe uh, which is um, sheer material and I don't know what else uh, they could have used. Um, I'm, I'm sure they used, um, besides silk and crepe, they probably used uh, light cotton for the less expensive fashion. But this is beautiful. And that right there is a topper. And just like you see over here on this side, you see that she's wearing a camisole. And on this one, she's definitely wearing a slip over this beautiful dress. So I'm going to cut it short. We're going to take a sneak peek for next week right here. And I want to thank you for joining me. There's several pages here still. We're going to uh, do this for the next few weeks on Sh Tuesday Time Bank. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, a comment, and a share. The shares are helping my channel grow, and that's what I'm working on every moment of the day. Uh, my videos are made through the day and they are scheduled for different events, different type between my pets, my sewing, and my passion, which is patterns and vintage patterns. Thanks a lot. If you want to join on Tuesday Time Bank, feel free to do so. Just use uh, hashtag Tuesday Time Bank and do it on a Tuesday. It could be something of a time capsule, something lost and found, something of interest, which is your interest, where we can be interested and see, or anything of your choice. Have a great week, and we will see you next time for the next Tuesday Time Bank. Goodbye.